Okay, you Laurel and Hardy fans, I'm here at Hollenbeck Park where Men of War was filmed in May of 1929 just a couple of months before the Great Depression and the crash of 29 this, fil this film was made here and right there what we have in front of us down there is the remnants of the boathouse that was in the scene where they order the soda of course that was an in interior shots probably done at Hal Roach Studios but this film was uh, the cameraman was the great George Stevens who would later become the great director for the film Giant in 1955 with James Dean okay I'm gonna take you fans all over the world exactly approximately where the Japanese bridge was in the opening scene of Men of War 1929 and uh, sadly like I said the boathouse is gone, but the remnants is there and the piles that once housed the boathouse. And if you remember the scene where they met the two ladies and they asked them to, <laughs> they could impose on them to have a soda with them. There's a white house up towards the right, but that's not a house, that's actually a hospital. So uh, let's go down. In fact, uh, this park was donated by the great the John, this man, his name was John Edward Hollenbeck and his wife Elizabeth donated this 21 acres to the city of Los Angeles in 1892. And uh, if you're a big fan of silent films of the teen era and the 20s of the 20th century, this is where they uh, filmed a lot of Charlie Chaplin films, uh, Max Sennett films, Mabel Normand, uh, Buster Keaton films, uh, Keystone Cops, Charlie Chase. Well, this is where they filmed a lot of those films. So let's go down to the approximate area where the Japanese br bridge once spanned. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're over here on the west side of Hollenbeck Park. And I thought it would be nice to catch a denizen of Hollenbeck Park. This scruffy old feral cat goofing around, scratching himself, <laughs> and lollygagging around and loitering on Hollenbeck Park. Let me give you uh, fans all over the world of cinema history a perspective roundabout shot of the famous Hollenbeck Park where thousands of films were made in the teen era and the, the 20s of the 20th century. Max Sennett was just down the road, Max Sennett Studios, Charlie Chaplin. He started there on Glendale Boulevard where Max Sennett Studios once were. Charlie Chaplin, Mabel Norman, Laurel and Hardy, of course, Harold Lloyd, Buster Keaton, they all filmed here in the teen era and the 20s. Okay, while I'm here, is I'm gonna take you fans where Laurel and Hardy talked to the two uh, young ladies in the famous 1929 film Men of War. I'm gonna take you to the approximate spot and I'm gonna show you exactly from what angle the opening shot of Men of War was uh, started from the opening scene. Okay, follow me. Okay, you Laurel and Hardy fans all over the world, I'm standing approximately where the Japanese bridge landing was, right about here. And if you remember in the background, you could see those type of uh, lakeside grasses flourishing right in back of all Oliver and Stanley, who told the girls that they were both soldiers. <laughs> and she would call Stanley General, let's go General. Okay, uh, even though the interior shots of the soda fountain were probably done at Hal Roach Studios, that's where they did the scene with Charlie Hall and Jimmy Finlayson when they were renting the boats. And there's that white building in the background that you can see in the film. 
uh, without those bushes there you see the front and it looks sort of like a mansion well that's actually Linda Vista Hospital and uh, so let's go around here and sadly for whatever reason and in their infinite wisdom they took down the Japanese bridge but in the film it's approximately right there you can see the narrowest part of the park in the film and uh, the, the film was uh, the cinematographer uh, as a factoid that was uh, actually the uh, George Stevens the young George Stevens that's where he started doing a lot of Laurel and Hardy films in the 20s and then he went on to direct Alice Adams with Katherine Hepburn and RKO and he did a lot of Fred Astaire and Ginger Roger films and there is the last vestige but as you can see it's made out of that river rock that you see in the boathouse that was approximately right there and uh, for whatever reason I don't understand why they took out the boathouse it added charm and it was just a cool thing to have little boats on this uh, lake here but there's that Linda Vista Community Hospital that you see in the background and you see that you see a smidge of the, of the entrance right there in the film and uh, like I was saying uh, if you're if you're a big fan of Dexter uh, there's a episode called let's give the boy a hand where James Remar, who plays Harry Morgan, his father, uh, Michael C. Hall, Dexter, they do uh, a few shots in front of the hospital and then they do some interiors of that. And the ice truck killer's victim, uh, that's where he held his victim. If you remember, he was strapped down inside that hospital. And now it's like a refurbished uh, condominiums for senior citizens. So here we are in Hollenbeck Park, donated by Elizabeth Hollenbeck in 1892 and she was the wife of the great John Edward Hollenbeck who who uh, who founded uh, one of the founders of the country of Nicaragua and he founded the uh, first national bank and he lived on a Boyle Avenue here at that time period in the 1880s and he had a large residence with broad verandas and a tower on extensive grounds so uh, okay while well, we're here like I said this is where all, a lot of the silent films of the teen era and the 20s of the 20th century were filmed and too bad everything is all those benches are gone that you see in the men of war the film and this is all that's left and okay well thank you for watching the short little vignette and please subscribe to my channel and uh okay thank you very much